Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we're taking it back to 243 Winchester. We'll be shooting the Federal Power Shock 80 grain jacketed soft point. And here is that box for the Federal Power Shock jacketed soft point 80 grain load in 243 Winchester. We do have a white tail deer icon, so that is sort of the intended game for this somewhat lightweight bullet. Let's go ahead and flip it around to the back. There's your promo information for the Power Shock line of ammo. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. Coming over to the left, we have our velocity data. This is showing 3,330 feet per second at the muzzle. Now, I don't know what barrel length they're using. We will be shooting this from a 20 inch barreled Winchester Model 70 featherweight compact. So I really doubt we're gonna come close to 3330. It'll be interesting to see what we get but I do think it's appropriate. There's a lot of compact and youth model 243s out there, a lot of 20 inch barreled rifles. So we'll see how close we come to that 3330. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ammo. As always, Federal Brass is always pretty dang nice. There's that little 80 grain soft point, flipping it around to the primer. I'm not sure if you can see it here in the camera, but it does have that blue sort of lacquer sealant on the primer that Federal Ammo has. Always a nice touch. Let's go shoot this stuff and see how it does. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. And my test rifle today is my Winchester Model 70 Featherweight Compact, chambered in 243 Winchester, of course. It's got a 20-inch barrel. Up top, I've got a Leopold FX2 6-power scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. I've got 243 stamped right in it. Check out my website, masonleather.com. It will be linked in the description and the pinned comment. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming over the other side, I've got my white tail deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are those velocities for the Federal Power Shock 80 grain load out of the 243, minimum 3102, max 3176, average 3141. This stuff is cooking. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting those Federal Power Shock 80 grainers out of the 243. And we did capture all three bullets. You can see them right there one, two, and then three. So penetration-wise, nothing to really write home about, and I didn't really expect much more than this. We got about, wow, well, these two are right both at about 14 inches, and this one is at about 15 inches. These are lightweight, rapidly expanding soft points going really fast, so I'm not surprised they didn't go deeper than this. And then in terms of the wound cavity, I'm trying to find a good angle to show you guys. These things do deliver a little bit of a shock up front. It's nothing, you know, massive, but it looks like about the two inch mark, it starts right there, blows up nice and wide for what these things are, and then it tapers off at about the six to seven inch mark. So you've got a little terminal wound cloud in there, but it's, it's nothing massive, and I didn't really expect much more than that. So let's go ahead and dig these guys out and take a look. All right, y'all, we're back in the lab. Let's go ahead and go over all the metrics for that Federal Power Shock 80 grain jacketed soft point and remember on the box it had the little deer icon this stuff is meant for deer hunting at least as per the manufacturer that's what they're kind of marketing it as i'm not so sure i would use it for that we'll talk about that later weight retention let's go ahead and talk about that 43 grains 48 grains and 49 grains for an average of 47 grains retained weight that works out to 58 percent weight retention honestly i don't think that's too bad for the light weight of these bullets and how fast they were going, I'm pleasantly surprised actually. And on to expansion, we saw 0 0.45, 0 0.46, and 0 0.50 inches. 
for an average of 0.47 inches expanded diameter. That's 1.9x expansion. And just look at the photo of these bullets here. The expansion is really nice. It's uniform all the way around. We got nice little mushrooms out of this stuff, at least, you know, what was remaining, that 58% retained weight. It did shed quite a bit of weight, but what was left mushroomed rather nicely. Again, kind of pleasantly surprised for these lightweight bullets. Now on to velocity. For our high velocity, we saw 3176. Our low was 3102 for an average of 3142 versus the factory build velocity of 3,330 feet per second. So we came in 188 feet per second slow versus box spec. And remember, I'm, this is out of my rifle. It's got a 20 inch barrel, but I think that's appropriate for a lot of us out there that are using 243 youth rifles and compact rifles that do have those shorter barrels. If you've got a longer barrel, of course, you're gonna see more velocity. I don't think you're gonna make up that 188 feet per second though though, even with a 24 inch barrel, I just don't think that's realistic from what I've seen. Your mileage may vary, but we're still getting over 3000 feet per second. Hey, that's something. And with those numbers, our estimated impact velocity down there at 100 yards is about 2,828 feet per second. On to penetration, we saw 14 inches, 14 inches, and 15 inches of penetration for an average of about 14 and a half inches of penetration. And I'm pleasantly surprised again with this little 80 grain soft point bullet that it actually went that deep. Considering it's good mushrooming, you know, it's, it's, it's blasting into the block going pretty darn fast. I'm actually surprised it wasn't close to, I don't know, 11, 12 inches with how lightweight these bullets are and how evenly they expanded. They went, you know, a pretty good distance into the blocks considering what they are. And on a kinetic energy with an 80 grain bullet going on average 3,142 feet per second, we're looking at 1,753 foot pounds at the muzzle. And down there at 100 yards, we're looking at estimated 1,420 foot pounds at impact. So if nothing else, we're still over that 1,000 foot pound mark that a lot of people like to see at impact down there at 100 yards at least. But keep in mind, this shows us that we're dropping about, eh, what is that, little over 300 foot pounds of energy between the muzzle and 100 yards. So between 100 yards and 200 yards, the bullet's gonna slow down even more. We're probably gonna be pretty darn close to that 1,000 foot pound mark, if not a little bit under by that point. So this bullet's gonna shed energy. It's definitely not a long range option, in my opinion, for deer hunting like is you know presented on the box. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on this Federal PowerShock 80 grain jacketed soft point load out of the 243 Winchester. It performed about how I thought it would, actually a little bit better in some instances. Uh, weight retention was actually pretty decent for what it is. It's hitting really fast. We still maintain a majority of the weight. Expansion was extremely uniform. The bullets performed consistently across the board. Penetration, again, very, very consistent, about 14 and a half inches for all three. Velocity was a little slow. That's par for the course. With a 243, you do need that extra barrel length to ring out all of the velocity. It's got a lot of gunpowder for a little bullet. Your mileage is gonna vary depending on your barrel length and even your specific barrel. It is what it is, but I think this is a good representation of what we can expect from a lot of the compact and youth rifles out there. And a load like this, which is gonna recoil a little bit less, I think it might be a good option for the youth hunter. So what would I use this stuff for? It's marketed as a deer hunting load. I think it could be a good option for the youth hunter. Again, it's not gonna recoil a whole heck of a lot, not gonna scare someone when they pull the trigger and it rocks back on their shoulder. And performance wise, it's actually not that bad. Again, good expansion, good weight retention, decent enough penetration for most of your deer hunting, especially on smaller deer. This is not a load I'm gonna wanna be using on big northern whitetail, absolutely not. But on a lot of your southern deer, you know, they're a lot smaller. Pronghorn, this might be a great option. I would really be careful with my shots, taking those broadside shots. I don't know that I want to do, you know, a frontal shot. Definitely not, you know, a quartering away or rear shot. I don't support rear shots anyways. You know, the old Texas heart shot, that's not something I'm a fan of. But, you know, you take a good careful broadside shot with this load on a reasonable sized deer. I think it could absolutely get the job done. Is this going to be my first choice for deer hunting out? 
out of the 243 Winchester. If it was for a youth, yeah, it actually would be a good option. If I was using it for myself, no, I think there are some better options out there that give a little bit better performance. I think it would make an excellent coyote load or sort of a general purpose kind of do everything load for the 243. If you're using it as your truck gun, your camp gun, you want to take out some javelina down in South Texas. Maybe you got a pronghorn out on the prairie. You got the doe down there at the fence line. I think it could be a good option for that. And at the end of the day, performance I think was pretty good for what this stuff is. If you've used this load out of your 243, let me and everybody else know what you think in the comments. And check out my website masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.